Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I've got a film for you. Uh, watched it the other night, brought it the other day, and uh, it's a film that I've not seen for a long time. But then it was one of them films that you saw years and years ago, and you thought how cool it was. Uh, that film, anyway, in question is called Boiler Room. It's a film from uh, 2007, cast of uh, Giovanni Ribisci, uh, Vin Diesel, Nia Long. Nicky Cat, Scott Can, Ron Rifkin, Jamie Kennedy, Tom Everett Scott, and you've also got a bit of a cameo from uh, Ben Affleck. So the film really stars around uh, Giovanni Ribisci, and uh, Seth is the sort of guy who runs his own casino out of his own house. Uh, his dad's a judge, so of course this pisses him off. Um, he does anything that his dad wants him to just so that his dad is proud of him and pleased of what his son has become. Um, this is where he says, you know, get a job. He finally gets a job as a penny stockbroker. However, the job that he finds, um, it seems all good and proper and amazing because the guys are driving around in Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Vin Diesel's got a Range Rover, they've got massive houses. Um, it's all things like that, so it looks luxurious and amazing to him. Being a young kid, he thinks, yeah, this is the way that I want to go. However, the job in question is not so legitimate and uh, it's not so sugar-coated for him. Ben Affleck, he interviews them in a room and he says, you will make your first million in within three months of working here. Now, of course, that's going to appeal to anybody and... Uh, is literally start from the bottom and you work your way up in the company and the more you do the better you get the more money you earn and all this sort of stuff so it is very enticing for the guy it's a film that was made in 2000 uh, one of Vin Diesel's earlier films Ben Affleck has a bit of a cameo in it and yet one of the quotes is Ben Affleck has never been better he's in it for like 10 minutes total he's not even a huge cast member He's not even on the box of the DVD, for God's sake. But it was one of them films that I saw years ago and I thought, wow, this is amazing. And then watching it again now, it doesn't seem so great. It's confusing how, at the end, Seth just walks away. He, do, he does a bit of a bad thing, you know, but he does cover his own back. However, he just walks away and you never see him again. Um, his girlfriend was the one that the FBI came to and yet she seems to have gone down with a ship. The company as well that they work for, how they seem to go on for so long selling dodgy stock um, and making millions off it, doesn't seem to quite grasp why. Looking back, it was a good film back when it was first released. Um, now, not so much. When I first watched it, when I was a lot younger, it was great. The film was made in 2000, so it's more than 14 years old, this film. It was alright. Looking back, it's like, I can't understand the hype, almost. I mean, it's not bad of a cast. You know, Giovanni Rubisci, he's, he's been in a lot. He's, he's the sort of guy who looks down and out, however, he's a pretty good actor. Vin Diesel, he was just starting out, so looking back, it was one of his earlier films, and, you know, they, they didn't use him as well as he should have done. Ben Affleck, he's in it for like 10, 15 minutes. But it's, it's not bad, it's bearable, it's passable. You could probably watch it in yourself and think, hmm, this is the film that was awesome. However, it doesn't live up to the expectations that it once had when you first watched it probably ten odd years ago. Looking back at the film now, it kind of reminds me of The Wolf of Wall Street. How that film was all about penny stocks and then it got into bigger markets. This film is... The penny stocks it's the cheap stocks of the companies just starting out to make them sound big and amazing and this is what they sell but it's all right it's, it's not great it was a bit of a disappointment because when i saw it i was like wow i'm gonna buy it because it's amazing it's a cool film but it's not great the expectations that it lived up to many years ago when i first watched it was awesome however now looking back it's not if you find it for a couple of quid, you might like it, you might pick it up, you might say to yourself, this is an awesome film, I remember it watching it years ago and thinking how cool it is, and it still is cool. It's almost like a poor man's Wolf of Wall Street. There's no Leonardo DiCaprio, 
there's no midgets being tossed however penny stocks corruption being millionaires this is what the boiler room is all about so guys we the devoted links down below as per usual go check them out weather gear in every single video use toby wtd gets you 20 percent off any with the devoted item you decide to buy links down below as per usual however thank you very much for watching my review of the boiler room great film years ago however not so great now Paul Man's Wolf of Wall Street, pick it up for a couple of quid, you may enjoy it. Ballroom, thanks for watching.